Okay, so it turns out Sterling Kit sent me two different Pulse Jet engines I have right here. Let's check this out. All right, so this is one. Oh, it kind of looks like a Gatling gun. Wow, this thing looks kind of crazy. Has some kind of, oh, this looks like a spark plug or something. Maybe an air inlet, gasoline. Oh, here's a spark plug right here. Check that out. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six chambers. And even though I think this is going to be a lot of fun, I'm going to run the Pulse Jet with one chamber first because it's going to be louder. This is the uh, second Pulse Jet that I got from Sterling Kit. I am going to use them for a full video and check this one out. Look at this thing. Oh yeah, so that's one single chamber, man. I can't imagine how loud this thing is going to be. I think it runs on gas. Let's go set this up on the table, start this up, see how this thing sounds. <laughs> All right, this looks like uh, some kind of ignition box. Oh, a nice clear fuel tank. I've been asking them for a clear fuel tank for years, finally. And it looks like it's just like one of those healthy juice bottles. A good idea. I don't know what these are. Hopefully this is not complicated. And then we got, it uh, looks like, uh, that's, reed, that's reed valves. And last but not least, some instructions. Wow, this really is a work of art though. Pretty cool. Hopefully I don't get shocked here. Oh my God, I was just joking. Whoa. All right, now I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna mount this down to the table and I was like, man, there ain't no way that I'm gonna hold this thing in my hand like this. But then I saw this, check this out. I think these might be the clamps right here. I sure hope they are. Yeah, I think, oh, oh wait, there's brackets, what? Oh my God, thank you Sterling Kit. Oh, I love it. Check that out. Dude, that's sick. Oh, that's amazing. That just makes me feel so much safer. All right, after reading the instructions, I realized that this is not powered by 110. It's even cooler than that. Turns out it's battery powered. It has a battery in there and you just plug this adapter in, plug this into the wall and charge it, and then you can run it anywhere. Oh man, it looks great. One on the back, one on the front. All right, all set. And that thing looks pretty mean. And this Pulse Jet runs on gasoline, only gasoline, not propane like some of the other ones, which I think is pretty amazing. This is the problem with modern day gas cans take forever. This is the fuel in. This is going to be positive on the plug, negative on the nub. Okay, we're all set up and ready to go. One thing I do want to mention is that these Pulse Jet engines are super simple. There's no moving parts except for one. Technically, it's not really a moving part, but it does go back and forth. It's a reed valve. And so that allows the air to come into the chamber only one way. Let me just show you before I start this up. It comes with a bunch of extra ones, a whole bunch of extra ones. But these are the reed valves. Just like a two cycle, very similar. But other than that, all right, cool. Let's get this started up and see what it sounds like. I have a feeling it might be a little bit loud. I'm ready to go. The only question I have is, how do I shut this off? I'm assuming maybe remove the spark plug. Guess we're gonna find out. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds like an ultrasonic toothbrush. I had no idea it was that loud. Sounds like a like fart machine on steroids. That is crazy. This thing is just too intense to have inside of the studio here. So I'm gonna move it outside in the alley. I got this thing set up back here and I'm only gonna be able to run it maybe for like 20 seconds. It's pretty loud. I don't know if it was just amplified because it was inside of the garage or it's actually that loud. Let's see what it does. Let's start this thing up and see if it's actually See if we can wake up the crickets.
Wow. That is seriously loud. Holy cow. Let me turn off that ignition. It's still like red hot. Look at this thing. I'm actually gonna remove this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And that was crazy. Let's get this thing inside. So that was way more than I expected. That was pretty insane. That was crazy. I could feel it in my chest. Surprisingly, it was eating up fuel. I could see it going down as it was running. So anyway, I'll leave a link to this engine in the description below. And uh, thanks to Sterling Kit, they're the ones who sent this over. They sent another one too, like a, a six banger that I'm gonna show later. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this engine. This thing put a smile on my face. It's totally worth whatever it costs because, uh, man, this thing was wild.